I am Adil Kumar and in this video we will do a review of the unit on slopes and tangents for calculus. So we will begin with a very simple question which you see right here. You need to draw a tangent line at the point P given on this curve and estimate slope. So that is the first part and then we will take up some equations as shown here and you do estimate slope of tangent line at x equals to 0. You can always pause your video, copy these questions, try them out. I will provide their solutions in following videos. Uh, then we will take up examples, rather the question will be provide example of functions where the slope of the tangent line at x equals to 2 is undefined. So it should be very clear when the slope is defined, when it is undefined. When we say undefined slope, then it could be a vertical line. After that, we will take a few complicated questions where difference quotient will be used to find slopes of tangent line. So questions like this where I might give you an equation, we may find slope of secant line which will be also referred to as rate of change in the following chapter and uh, tangent of uh, an equation of tangent line will be referred to at instantaneous rate of change right so you may have equation like this or slightly more complicated having radicals in the denominator or a function which could be combination of all you have learned so far so here we have a cubic function and also a reciprocal function, right? And the idea is to find a point on the curve where the tangent is horizontal. So there will be a wide variety of questions which I am going to discuss in this playlist. I will provide you with links with many more. So I have a whole playlist on this unit. I like you to go through those videos to get the whole concept and then we will have multiple choice test questions to practice. So let's begin uh, from the very first page which was to find the, the slope on a given graph. So I like you to copy these kinds of graphs, mark point P, draw a tangent line and then calculate the slope or estimate the slope. Let us see how to do it. Well, to draw a tangent line at a point, you have to draw a line which looks like a tangent as shown here. Then take two points on the line and form a right triangle as I have shown here. Now slope of the tangent line, let's say m, will be equal to change in y value. So this is the change in y value divided by change in x value. So this will be delta y over delta x. So now let's estimate. So it seems as if it is two and a half times, right? So if you kind of scale it, so it may look as if this is, this is, uh, let me write, m is equals to 2.5. So that is my estimate for this particular line slope. Now let's look into the next curve. So here that point is right there at the tip. So if I draw a tangent line, it will be a vertical line, kind of like this. Now, what is the slope of vertical line? The slope of vertical line is undefined, right? So we have undefined slope. Now here, you see that this is kind of a saddle point, correct? So that is a curve which you will see for x cube type of a function and uh, while it has not been drawn so well so you may seem to you may actually draw a tangent line kind of here in this fashion okay I wanted to draw a saddle point but I couldn't so so what you see here is a tangent line having a positive slope to find the slope, let's take two points on it, as we did in the first case. So let's take two points on it. So drop a perpendicular. Let's say these are my points. And estimate the slope, right? So you see it is a positive. Rising line means positive slope, right? This is also positive. 
and uh, let's say it is two times so we say change in y over change in x this ratio m which is change in y over change in x is estimated as plus 2. Now let's look into the third graph where if you draw a tangent line it will be coming downwards correct so let's draw a line going through this point so that seems to be a tangent line at this given point as you see here a tangent line may cross a curve at more than a point right do you see that and in this case the tangent line goes through the curve okay so let's draw a right triangle here once again so let's use these points now since it is coming down it has to be negative correct and the ratio seems to be let's say this is one unit then slightly more so it could be you can say slope here m is rises greater than run so let me call this as 1.25 but with a negative sign since it is dropping downwards right you can actually perform measurements to do it now in this particular case at point p what is the tangent is it kind of like this if you consider that to be a tangent the slope is zero it's a horizontal line however you can draw many tangents here that could be a tangent this could be a tangent right even this line seems to be a tangent and that line seems to be a tangent so here you can draw many tangents correct since we can do that and we are not sure which one is the right one we say that the tangent is having undefined slope so we are not sure about which one is correct so we say here undefined slope In fact, the tangent doesn't exist. We can say tangent line does not exist. Do you see that? Since it does not exist, there could be many, any one of those. We say it is not defined. So that's another interpretation of the same thing. Very important, correct? Absolute function is an example. Now in this particular case, again, if you draw a tangent, then it is going to be a vertical line going through the curve right in this case it is not going through the curve so a vertical line has undefined tangent right so slope so it is also undefined slope correct so we found on in our examples one of them was negative and then these are positive so every line which is rising will be treated as positive a vertical line will be treated as undefined slope and if you cannot draw any particular tangent it does not exist and therefore the slope is undefined perfect now if I would have selected a point P uh, somewhere here in that case we could have had a tangent horizontal and the slope of this horizontal would be zero right so horizontal line slope is zero so with that, let's move on to the next set of examples. We need to estimate slope of tangent line at x equals to 0 for the following functions. So now you need slightly more information about the functions so that you could sketch and then perform the operation. So we'll try to sketch each one of these here. 0 means at the origin. So I'll just make small sketch concentrating more on the origin itself is it okay okay that's it so let's sketch x cube so this function is kind of flat here and then it rises so that is called point of inflection as most of you know x to the power of 1 over 3 let's be very specific it's like a kind of like this and then it is like this do you see that so vertical slope which is undefined 2 over 3 when x to the power 2 over 3 then it's a cusp kind of like this that 2 makes everything positive sine x sine x is a curve like this correct 
well let me extend it to this side also cosine x is let me go like this starting with one maximum absolute function perfect now you can actually pause the video answer and then look into my solutions so these are the tangent lines correct the vertical line is a tangent line here here it is undefined there could be many perfect at zero that seems to be a tangent line here a horizontal line is a tangent line here again it is undefined perfect so our solution here is estimate slope of tangent line so slope m is equal to zero slope m is undefined here because it is vertical line is it okay this is vertical line here the slope is again undefined since there are many and we don't know which one to take care of now slope here seems to be y equals to x kind of so let me estimate this as one and here slope m is zero since it is a horizontal line here again there are many tangents which could be drawn so we'll say undefined so I hope that makes sense to you. Now, I think this concept of sketching tangents is not difficult at all. So treat this as your test question. You need to provide examples of functions, functions, right? Where the slope of the tangent line at x equals to 2 is undefined. So, so let me just sketch here a few. You need to pause the video. Um, and answer this question so at x equals to 2 we want undefined so this is let us say x equals to 2 so we want undefined at this point so it could be a vertical line perfect uh, so if I want a vertical line here my slope could be I mean the function could be kind of like this Do you see that? Now this function, which we treated last time as f of x equals 2, something to the power of 2 over 3, right? It resembles that one. But it has moved 2 units to the right, so I will write this as x minus 2. Does it make sense to you? Right? Perfect. Now, that's very important to understand. Here, we could have absolute function, right? Kind of like this. And since we have moved to the point 2, how should I write this function as? Let me write this function as a of x. Well, the absolute value of x minus 2, we have moved it 2 units to the right. Does make sense to you? So those could be examples. And let me give you one more very interesting example. And that is... I will draw a line where 2 is not in the domain, right? So I will draw a line which could be, let me say, it goes like this. So, so in this case, we have a line which is, let me say, the function is y equals 2. Now, still, we have a hole here at 2. I could write this function as x times x minus 2 divided by x minus 2. Does it make sense? So, when this x minus 2, x minus 2 cancels, we get a line which is y equals to x. So, it has a restriction that x is not equal to 2. So, if you do not have point 2 in your domain, in that case, you cannot have tangent at that point and so so the slope of the tangent line is undefined correct so that could be one of the ways of looking into it now i like you to give based on what you have learned here few more examples right so let me from here give you another rational function let's say r of x is equal to 1 over x minus 2 so if I give you that as a function, in that case, you know, x is not equal to 2. 
and therefore we cannot draw a tangent line at 2 and its slope will be undefined. Do you get an idea, right? So, in short, what we have learned here is that there are a few conditions which will make sure that you have a tangent line with undefined slope or you don't have a tangent line. So wherever you see a cusp or a corner, right? So let me write down. So a cusp, I'm sorry, this was not a cusp, I'm sorry. This is one over three, right? So cusp, let me, me good. Or a corner. Or we have a vertical tangent. Or the last condition was we have a hole. Or we have a vertical asymptote. Okay, if I have to draw a curve for, I made a mistake here. So this function is, is actually x minus 2. And this is a cube root function, 1 over 3. Is it okay? Now, if I have to make a cusp, then the graph should have been, uh, let me sketch at this point. So let's say we have a function c, x, and we want cusp at 2. That means to the power of 2 over 3, then be x minus 2 to the power of 2 over 3. And the curve will be kind of like this. Do you see that? Kind of like this. So that is the cusp. Do you see that? So that is how I'll be sketching a function. Now, since it's kind of a vertex, a pointed thing here, it means the tangent is not well defined, correct? as we saw in the previous examples, any one of these could be a tangent at this line, correct? So with that, we'll close this video. Then I'll provide you links with the others uh, to calculate the slope of a tangent line for different functions at given point or at many points, right? So I hope you get a clear idea about how to estimate slope of a tangent line from a function. Thanks for watching. Feel free to share your comments and views. If you like and subscribe, that'll be very good for me. Thank you and all the best.